You are now listening to Sorel Gar MD. Gar MD. Sorel Gar MD. What is interventional oncology? We talk about how interventional oncology is the next big thing in IR, but most people have absolutely no idea what interventional oncology is. In discrete terms, interventional oncology boils down to three types of procedures which we routinely perform as interventional radiologists. The three are transarterial chemoembolization of liver tumors, also abbreviated TACE, radioembolization of liver tumors, also known as Y90, and image-guided ablation of tumors in solid organs, namely the liver and kidney. Let's start with transarterial chemoembolization. What is chemoembolization or TACE about? TACE is about treating tumors in the liver using targeted intra-arterial medications. We are literally shooting medicine directly into the arteries that supply a liver tumor. Here I have a catheter inside a hepatic artery and we can see the tumor lighting up like a light bulb, demonstrating its hypervascularity and ability to take up a lot of contrast. This is giving me diagnostic information. These tumors look different than the normal liver and therefore represent abnormal growths of tissue, cancer. The second thing it's telling me is physiologic information. Think about it. I injected pure contrast into that catheter and most of it ended up in the liver tumor. That tumor wants to suck up blood and in fact that's exactly what hypervascular means. Anything I send through that catheter will concentrate preferentially inside that tumor. In a taste procedure we take advantage of this fact and send little beads coated with a chemotherapy called doxorubicin directly into the tumor cells. Is taste effective? Yes, there's a lot on data that shows that patients treated with this form of therapy enjoy a longer disease-free survival than those that do not. Moving on to Y90 radioembolization. Y90 is the cooler, more athletic kid brother of chemoembolization. If you can understand chemoembolization, you can pretty much figure out radioembolization. The only difference is that the Y90 particles are not coated with chemotherapy. Instead, the Y90 is the treatment agent itself, and it emits beta radiation. Whoa, I know I lost some of you because I started talking about radiation. But really all radiation means is that a substance emits energy. Y90 emits a very specific form of energy that kills tumor cells dead and acts locally with a radius of about 3 millimeters in 3D space. We drive a catheter into the artery supplying a liver tumor, exactly analogous to taste, and then start infusing Y90 impregnated beads directly into the tumors. As they act locally, they kill the tumors and cause very little harm to the surrounding normal liver tissue. Is Y90 effective? Well, that's a great question. A well-composed randomized controlled trial failed to show an improvement in overall survival. However, it did show a significant increase in liver-specific disease-free survival. There's also plenty of anecdotal evidence that shows that patients can be cured of their liver cancer through Y90 treatments. Therefore, for unresectable primary liver cancer or liver-dominant metastatic disease, Y90 is a very attractive, well-tolerated, non-surgical treatment option for patients. Now let's talk about ablation. Ablation is different from TACE and Y90. TACE and Y90 are forms of transarterial therapy, meaning I have to catheterize the arteries of the liver to deliver the treatment. However, with ablation, we don't have to go through the blood vessels at all. Instead, we access the tumor percutaneously using a special needle called a probe. We position these needles under ultrasound or CT control. The needle tip has the ability to either get very hot or very cold in a very controlled manner. More or less, we are cooking the tumor from the inside out in a very controlled manner where we can precisely define the treatment area. When used in the appropriate patient, ablation represents one of the best treatments we have for cancer and it produces a response rate which really rivals surgery in its effectiveness. So there you go, interventional oncology in a nutshell, chemoembolization, radioembolization, and image-guided ablation. Three types of treatment in our toolkit to combat tumors as interventional radiologists.